As long as there has been painting, there have been portraits. Before the invention of photography, a painted, sculpted, or drawn portrait was the only way to record someone's appearance. Throughout most of history, the great expense of the materials and commissioning an artist meant that only powerful, wealthy people, royals, nobles, religious figures, could afford a portrait. A portrait was intended to depict the physical appearance of an individual, as well as their social position and the inner qualities and virtues of the person or those valued by the sitter's social environment. By the 19th century, the purpose of the portrait and the artist's role in achieving this would change significantly. The Industrial Revolution saw the rise of the middle class, and portraits opened up to include the bourgeoisie and many times the immediate circle of the artist. The increase in commerce created a large group of wealthy businessmen and landowners, and portraits were a way of making a permanent visual record. The mayor, the soldier, the banker and politician together with their wives and families, sat to have their portraits painted. This time also saw the mass production of art supplies, oils and canvases. This meant that middle class people could afford to learn to paint. The 19th and 20th centuries are characterized by a wide range of art movements. And like any genre of painting, portrait art reflected the prevailing styles and movements of the time. Portraits and portraiture trace a winding path that follows countless aspects of history. The development of photography, which could easily capture records of what people looked like, freed artists to represent what they saw in an entirely different way, focusing on light, color, line, and movement like never before. Artists expressed their own concerns and interests about society and human consciousness, as well as painting portraits for art's sake. Portraits became a way of representing something rather than simply some one and moved in exciting and varying directions. What keeps figurative portrait painting artistically alive is the work of genuinely innovative practitioners who infuse what could become a predictable art form with personal, reflective and challenging approaches. The St. Thomas Elgin Public Art Centre has the largest and most significant permanent art collection in the area. Made up of approximately 1,900 artworks of local, regional, national and international origin in a broad variety of media. In developing the collection, special emphasis was and continues to be placed on contemporary and historic Canadian art and on artists associated with St. Thomas and Elgin County. The portraits in the collection demonstrate the changing approaches in the genre from the early 1800s until today. They tell us something about the subject and the artist. They raise questions about who we are and how we are connected to our past. This sense of connection through a visual history is one of art's unique and fundamental purposes.